God is faithful to keep his promises. That is a story we shall tell. He did not fail. Amen. Let us stand on our feet as we welcome Bishop. Hallelujah. God is good. There's an awesome presence in this place. Just an awesome presence. It's, it's just awesome. You can't explain it. It's, said enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise so it means that if you enter you should be entering with something so the word of the Lord said in Hebrews by he therefore offer unto God a sacrifice of praise. the fruits of your lips in other words what he's saying your mouth must be speaking what your heart is leaking because if the mouth is the fruit then the heart is the root so the question I'm asking this morning is if you came to offer a sacrifice of praise lift your hands everybody and I want you to forget who is beside you who is behind you what happened yesterday and offer unto God in a minute or two a sacrifice of praise oh You can do better than that. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
abundant throne. Hallelujah. To the increase of your kingdom, there shall be no end. For your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And your dominion reigneth throughout all generations. Yes. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, Oh yes. <laughs> uh, when you have an appetite for food, you really don't want anybody to be vetting your dining etiquette or protocol. Come on now. Because you have an appetite. You are hungry. Hello, okay. somebody. So this is where the ladies spend a lot of time to do your makeup. But when the presence of God comes in, you don't care about your makeup anymore. <laughs> Because God is in the building. Somebody praise God this morning. Somebody praise God this morning. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. Thank you precious Holy Spirit. I am grateful to God. I am grateful to God to be amongst my family again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, this was one of the shortest notice. I, I actually told my wife, I, you know, I confirmed and I didn't even remember that I'm fighting off a bug. <laughs> uh, but I did what is necessary to make it here with you. Amen. And it's uh, always a privilege to be here with you. The hunger and the zeal. And God is still amazing. God is still doing wonderful things. Amen. I just want to honor my spiritual mentor for is uh, uh, a lifetime mentor <laughs> the honorable bishop dr frank rosewell god come on you can do better than that i i must concede sir you you made this young man look well over there in texas with all that you had taught me <laughs> You really let me look very good. I was like, well, I'm under one of the best tutelage in the whole wide world. <laughs> oh, God. We praise God for the very gracious Pastor Hope. Come on, bless God for her. Such an awesome fragrance. Such an awesome fragrance, Pastor Hope. Always a blessing to see you. Hallelujah. My wonderful wife is here with me this morning. <laughs> Glory to God. We're excited to be here with you. 
We're traveling in from Kingston, so I can guarantee you we had gotten up earlier than most of you to be here this morning. Amen? But we don't regret it. Amen? Dr. King, are you sure my microphone is okay, sir? Are you, you sure? Because we'll be flowing in a little bit. Listen, I greet you all in the exalted, highly exalted name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking to the most important person in the room, you. <laughs> God is good all the time. Hallelujah. What an awesome God he is. And today my brother has decided to pay me a visit. I was trying to squeeze a song out of him, but he tells me, no, it's not today. God bless you, Francois. Wave, let them see. He's my brother. Hallelujah. We're going to talk some, we're going to go into some stuff today uh, for reinforcement. Uh, we're going to go into some stuff today. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's nothing new, but it's something that the Holy Spirit has certainly breathed upon, which means I believe there is life to it. Amen? And I want you to this morning try to listen with your spirit more than even how you listen with your ear. Try to listen with your spirit more than how you try to listen with your ear. Your ears capture it, but make sure it lands in your spirit to process it. And that's where it should be until it's germinated and it brings forth harvest. Are you with me? Are you with me this morning? The theme for this assignment today. Enforcing kingdom protocols. To provoke manifestation. Enforcing kingdom protocols. To provoke manifestation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. I want you to understand something that when the word, when the word of God said the entrance of thy word, it brings what? Light. And anywhere you have light, it means there is a functionality of energy which makes things possible. So if your faith this morning is at the right place and correctly aligned, it means that we can deal with any infringement on your territory, any assault that the enemy has launched on your life. Amen? Because as the reverend reminded me this morning, this is a daily warfare. Amen? It's daily so we have to be in the spirit. Are you ready to go on a journey with me this morning? Hallelujah. Enforcing kingdom protocols to provoke manifestation. We're living in an exciting time. What is exciting is that because we can trace what is happening in our world basically to the... Uh, the, the, the foundation of scriptures uh, we are seeing we're seeing wars we're seeing rumors of wars and a lot of keen attention is being placed on that but the focus of the church that Jesus Christ established is not to zoom in on wars because he did make it very clear that whilst it is that we'll see these type of instabilities and dysfunctionality in our world, it's not the true indication of his return. So we ought to be aware that while all of this instability is taking place, the statement that follows his assessment when he was asked, he said, at the end... But the end is not yet. 
and there is one criteria that he highlighted that signifies the end Jesus speaking he said and this gospel of the kingdom it shall be preached into all the world as a witness to all nations then shall the end come so I want you to know that there is an awesome grace in this dispensation that we have to usher the return of Christ and we have it within our mouth the world system would not understand this because it takes revelatory insight to appreciate this so this gathering is not coincidence as long as you are in the vicinity it means that there is a specific assignment that you have to play there is a role that you have to play to initiate and to usher Christ returning whilst it is no man know the day nor the hour but it is very apparent that there is supposed to be a system that needs to be operating that literally function in the dimension of soliciting his return the gospel of the kingdom so let's do a trace we're going through and we're flowing through a very um, some some scriptures here before we actually go to the climax of what this engagement is about and we are beginning at a very familiar territory at the beginning in Genesis 1 26 27 I'll be flowing through the amplified for the most part uh, God said you can follow in the KGV but I'm flowing through the amplified I'll tell you when I'm doing KGV God said let us which is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, make mankind, somebody say make, make mankind in our image, yes? After our likeness, and let them have complete authority. Remember, I'm flowing through the Amplified. And let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the tame beast, and over the earth, and over everything that creeps upon the earth. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Verse 27. So God created man in his own image in the image and likeness of God he created him male and female he created them uh, in looking at this just as a text we might overlook some very important keys and I want to highlight that if you take a look at verse 26 Verse 26 actually registered God make, M-A-K-E, versus, versus uh, verse 27, which used the word create. And one would want to wonder why is it important to highlight the fact that one verse says make versus the other that says create. And the fundamental reason is this. Uh, maybe in the English language we'll be quite comfortable to say well essentially I don't really see the difference it's actually the same thing but what is actually communicated from the original scripture in the Hebrews is that those two words carry very significant difference are you with me so the word may these, is, these are two interesting account on this entity this species called man man was made man was created what is it that uh, the writer Moses is getting at here man was made verse 26 man was created uh, verse 27 so here we go we are going to pull these from the Hebrew to get a better context as to why it's important to highlight this and the benefit of this amen so the hebrew word for made is actually a s a h it means it's pronounced asa in making meaning to make out of previously existing materials are you there with me 
meaning to make out of previously existing materials. That's the word asa, A-S-A-H, which is registered in verse 26. In verse 27, we have the word created, which is actually from the Hebrew word bara, which means to bring into being. So on one hand we have man being made which is out of something pre-existing but as it relates to man being created the writer is actually communicating a very different perspective. So the outer casing of man is actually from the dust but man is actually created which depicts bara bring into being that this man is a spirit which comes out of God for God is a spirit so we have to first understand the dynamics and capture what God has intended because we are living in a world that is so heavily material that what is it that is emphasized about people is their physicality what is emphasized is their assets what is emphasized is what clothes they wear because this is a world that is programmed to address people's physicality more than how we address their spirit man but we need to understand that the emphasis of God wasn't on the physical but it was on the spiritual so when we define man from the kingdom perspective we are talking about man is a spirit first are you with me so essentially the writer is communicating that man is a spirit who possesses a soul that exists in a body man is a spirit who possesses a soul that exists in a body so therefore when we are thinking about the entity of man we ought to be looking deeper as to what god intention is because out of everything in creation there is not one other entity who can say i was created in the image and after the likeness of god the only being that can say that from the genesis account is actually man so there is a specific grace there is something fundamental that god is doing when he introduced the subject the entity of man i'll catch you in psalm 8 when it was registered by the psalmist what is man that thou art mindful of him ah you have crowned him with glory and you have given him dominion over everything now i want us to understand within the jurisdiction of divinity we have the angelic host and at this point in time we may think that the angels are actually much valuable than man but can i shock some of you this morning not all of you i want to tell you that the angels were not created in the image of god neither after the likeness of god when god wanted to redeem a lost a broken and dysfunctional world an angel was not what he died for so you must understand that in the economy of God the apex my God the climax of his creative ingenuity is looked at when he looks at man so the devil didn't try to deceive the lion he didn't try to deceive any other matters of creation his major projects to actually dysfunction to to, to make it a, a a mess was man but praise god this morning the plan of his deception was actually crushed from genesis 3 chapter 15 my god the seed of the woman i, I love you, you know one of the reasons i love to be on god's side god can make an utterance like that know exactly what he's talking about and the devil has absolutely no clue <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm glad that when God looks at you and tell you you are blessed beyond measure the enemy might be looking at your account and he can't see anything there to say that you are blessed but once God says it it means that takes care of it it means every particular network Dr. Claude that is necessary for you to walk in the dimension of the blessing of God is already coming in divine alignment can I say something to you this morning oh, it's a first declaration I have in my spirit I hope you are ready to receive I speak over your life today amidst the turmoil amidst the difficulties amidst the challenges you are facing I decree and I declare you are blessed beyond measure I'm saying amidst the frustration amidst the disappointment I'm conclusively saying to you that is born again you are blessed beyond measure my God I feel that deep in my spirit I need you to tell somebody beside you again look at them with the conviction and the confidence you have in your spirit and tell them you are blessed beyond measure my god they might not understand because their minds are going back into the difficulties into the disappointments that they may have faced but i want you to release another act word over their circumstance I want you to look them in the eyes and are you going to help me to speak the word this morning are you going to help me to speak the word this morning you got to look them in the eyes and tell them surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life Listen, if you don't want them to receive, look, look at them and if they don't get it quite well, just look them and say in the eye and say, are you listening to what I am saying? Look them in the eye squarely and tell them this truth. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life you miss the place to shout you miss the place to give God praise you miss the place to release a praise unto the king of kings it's not by might nor by power but by the spirit of the living God Blessed be the name of the Lord, my God. Don't look at the preacher and think the preacher doesn't have his battles to fight. Don't look at the bishop and don't think the bishop has the battle to fight. But this is a revelation that we carry in our spirits. Oh God, 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 God. Help me, help me, help me, precious Holy Ghost. Help me this morning. So I want to summarize from Genesis to come right down and I'm going to do it very quickly. The fact is that man disobeyed God and the original plan of God was eroded ah, but not defeated. Thank you, Jesus. So God made a very prolific statement in Genesis 3.15. He said, listen to me, devil. The seed of the woman is going to crush your head. He didn't know from which angle this is coming from. So he got nervous. So by Moses, he was trying to kill him. By Noah, he, he actually wiped out a human race and left one family. By the time we reached to Moses, he was killing every baby that was there because he was frantic because he knows what God said he understood that what 
God said he had to be very active but this great program of salvation could not be in any way diverted pastor Hope. God said it and he is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent I am saying to you this morning I want to encourage somebody's faith God is not slack concerning his promises I hear the Holy Ghost say say that again can I talk to somebody God is not slack concerning his promises I've been promised things by family members I've been promised things by friends and all of them sometimes come through sometimes they don't but God is not slack concerning his promises my God my God my God can I continue on this journey mm. hallelujah so the program of divinity cannot be eroded it cannot be diverted it cannot be hijacked attempts were even made when the sentiment was echoed when 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 the prophetic word came through Isaiah and 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 this was now coming into manifestation do you understand that although it was explained to Mary that which is inside of you is conceived by the Holy Spirit the marriage almost went haywire the angel had to intervene I want you to understand that when you carry promise when you carry purpose the enemy is always active at your life and imagine after the promise was given after the word was released can you imagine the baby was born there was still an inquiry from Herod to find out where is the baby it is the reason introduction of the devil under the guise of deception I bring me word that I may come and worship him sure sir and as the wise man came the angel had to intercept again and say do not go there here comes that devil again every baby who is under two is going to die but understand this when there is a plan and purpose of God upon your life though the enemy may try to erode to hijack my God am I talking to anybody who is kept by the power of God had the enemy has his way you would have your praise this morning but the angel said unto Joseph flee from Bethlehem for Herod is trying to destroy the child saints of God people of God if God manifested in flesh is under attack to be destroyed why should you complain when the enemy is trying to destroy your life stand firm in the liberty where Christ has made you free for if the enemy has a plot God has a plan if the enemy has an agenda God has a plan my God my God my God my God who am I talking to the day I said if the enemy has a plot my God has a plan he is an omniscient God it means he, he knows all things it doesn't matter what he wants to calculate it doesn't matter the cycle that he wants to bring I'm saying to you this morning if God be for us I have an announcement to the world that the God I serve is for me and as long as he is for me he is more than the world against me though a host shall rise up against me in this will I be confident turn to somebody and say be confident 
in the face of the trial be confident in the face of troubles be confident I said tell somebody be confident 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 Be confident. Be confident. Joseph had to run with the baby, but he was confident. He had to move at least about two to three times for the savior of the world, but he had to be confident. Sometimes you have to move quickly, but be confident. Sometimes you have to be swift, but be confident. The enemy is up against you, but God is for you. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Woo! Thank you precious Holy Spirit. So let's continue on this journey. In 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. I'm flowing from the Amplified. I want now to fast track and now look strategically as where our position is. Hello somebody. Therefore if any person is engrafted in Christ the Messiah he is a new creation <laughs> a new creature altogether the old meaning previous moral and spiritual condition has passed away behold the fresh and the new has come I want you to understand that uh, new doesn't mean refurbished do you understand what I'm saying? If something is new, it means it's not refurbished. You can go to some uh, car dealers and cars, uh, they are crashed, they, they are used cars and they get to remake the exterior and it appears to be new, but it is not new. So uh, the distinction I'm making here is that when the Bible said you are a new creature, it means that God's spirit, the spirit of God came in you and made makes you a new man you are now subjected to the protocol of his government so it's not a refurbish you can I take some time when you are born again and if you are not born again today you need to hurriedly get this this aspect of your life in order when you are born again the life of God that comes to you the theologian call it the Zoe life it is a God kind of life it is everlasting my God nuclear bombs cannot stop it AK 47 cannot stop it because this is a life that transcends this era this dispensation this is the life of God that is flowing in you if any man man be in Christ if any man be in Christ if any man be in Christ he is a new creature now remember where we started we we started that man emphasized the physicality so when you are talking about new somebody think you're a, a, a bright light is gonna shine upon you and your body texture is gonna change this is not about your body this is about the, the most important part of your your being which is your spirit my god i'm a new creation <laughs> i'm a brand new man all things are passed away and behold all things made new glory to god as a as an as a consequence of being a new person my god there are benefits that is attached to being a new person can i go deeper with this thing my god this thing is so awesome romans chapter 8 1 2 let's fire this light like it's a ak-47 from the gun therefore mm, mm, mm. 
there is no no somebody say no 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 it is on the context of being a new person i have no attracted benefits i am now undergirded with better promises i am now a kingdom citizen with inalienable rights and privilege hallelujah listen to the venerable apostle paul therefore there is now no condemnation good god i thank you no adjudging guilty of wrong for those who are in christ jesus who live and walk not after the dictates of the flesh but after the dictates of the spirit can i tell you something here in verse 2 for the law of the spirit of life the law of the spirit of life my god do you understand now i'm under a different protocol i'm operating under a different protocol there is a switch i'm delivered from the dominion of darkness and translated into the kingdom of light oh my god for the law now of the spirit of life which is in christ jesus oh, yeah. the law of our new being has freed me from the law of sin and death my god God, my God, my God. It means that there is a paradigm shift. You must understand that there is a new law that is operating. There is a new law because there is life, the Zoe life, the God kind of life. My God, therefore, the appetite to do wrong is dissipating from my life. My God, I'm not trying to be like Christ my I'm not trying to be Christ like I am like Christ because I have now taken on a new DNA my identity has changed therefore I move according to a different protocol I'm submitted to a different government that carries a counterculture therefore I speak differently therefore I act differently I have the word of God in my spirit that is spirit and life hey somebody we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus you heard what I just said we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus now the Bible said seek ye first the kingdom and his his righteousness this is righteousness by faith I have now received through justification the righteousness of Christ Jesus if you check the old covenant it will tell you that our righteousness was as filthy rags but thanks be to God thanks be to God now we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus because of the born again experience that has taken place that has delivered you from the law of sin and death but the law of the life of the Lord Jesus Christ is operating mightily in you I said it's operating mightily in you hallelujah there is a difference in you there is a counterculture emerging out of your spirit hallelujah you have God's DNA that is why you think differently that is why you are because you are connected to a different government my God my God and Jesus brought the disciples to a lesson that they could never forget Jesus said feed the people 
Jesus said, feed the people. Ah, but, but, but we don't have anything. We don't have sufficient to feed the people. Jesus said, you feed the people. My God, listen to me. There is no lack in this kingdom. My God, I, I, I'm speaking to somebody. There is no lack in this kingdom. Inexhaustible resources to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus my God any area of lack that is operating in your life you need to open your mouth and let the area know there's a new life that is operating here there's a new government that is operating here I expel I renounce I reject I, I terminate every trait, every assault of lack, every assault of insufficiency. This is a new government in operation. Listen, there's a fundamental truth that cannot be eroded about this government. Can I tell you, the earth is the Lord's I said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof my God my God he supplies our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus my God if earthly fathers as wicked as they are knows how to give their children good gifts much more our heavenly father for which father the son will ask him for bread and give him a soul my God my God my God God shall supply your need I said God shall supply your need I said a way is being made for your provision I said a way is being made for your provision I said a way is being made right now angels are on assignment right now making special arrangements for your provision it's coming to your life it's coming to your family resources that is necessary for you to take care of the project you do not see it but remember the God you serve remember the God of the harvest hallelujah exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or imagine my God I speak that grace over your life your supply is now in Jesus name your supply is now in Jesus name your supply is now in Jesus name your supply is now somebody say now thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit thank you precious Holy Ghost we give you praise 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 so being transformed we have to understand the protocols that works with this transformation now to, to enforce the image of God that we possess we have to constantly speak God's word with boldness and authority are you there with me to enforce the image of God that we possess we have to constantly speak God's word declare God's word with boldness and confidence hear me well people of God according to revelations 1 6 we are kings and priests somebody say kings and priests <laughs> glory to God now I want you to take a key note what the Bible says about kings we are not even touching priests today in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4 the word of the Lord says something very interesting here Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4 remember we are what kings and priests this is what the word of God says in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4 where the word of a king is my God can you read that where the word of a king is there is you say it as if it's powder hallelujah where the word of a king is there is 
I want to tell you somebody, power is not powder. This is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? When a king speaks, it is final. Now you have to speak the word with power power because we just conclude that the scriptures is saying we are kings and priests isn't that so pastor hope isn't that so my god and the word of god is saying wherever the word of a king is wherever the word of a king is wherever where the word of a king is there is power so it means that when i release the word of god in my in my circumstance it means i'm turning on a law i'm turning on a grace i'm turning on a dimension but wait a minute bishop then the word of god said the word of god is quick it's sharp and it's powerful my god this thing is lining up on line precept upon precept here a little there a little this is not cunningly devised fables this is the word of god this is the word of god when he speak he, and he commanded it stood fast this is the word of god we are talking about that cannot return unto him void this is the word of god we are talking about that is forever settled in the heavens this is the word of god God we are talking about it's like a hammer it's like fire my God this is the word of God that we are talking about Jesus said my words are spirit and they are life so when circumstance come in you remember your definition according to the precedence of scripture speaks to you as a king and wherever the king speaks there is power somebody need to release power in your circumstance you release power in your house you release power on the sometime my wife hear me three o'clock in the morning panting the floor i'm releasing power i'm releasing power demonic networks need to know this is a vicinity of power this is a vicinity of the word of god the infallible presence potent word of god but wait didn't he say in his word he honors his word above his name my god my god i i, I know he's a god that cannot lie hey somebody when i'm praying sometime i have to look in the heaven and i said god upon the integrity of your word i make this petition known unto you hello somebody sometime you need to remind god upon the integrity of your word that you honor above your name that you said cannot go back to you void i'm unleashing a protocol i am leashing a protocol where a circumstance must come in divine alignment somebody's child will be coming out of every dysfunctionality somebody's marriage is coming in alignment because the word of a king carries power i wonder if there's anybody in this vicinity who has a word that carries power to invade the dominion of darkness for the righteous cry and the lord hears him and delivers him out of all of his troubles my god release the power of god by speaking the word of god sometimes situations are aggressive but you have to be more resilient you have to violently enforce somebody said violently enforce violently enforce the word of god somebody's circumstance is changing somebody's circumstance is changing hallelujah you shall live and not die you shall live 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 and not die you shall live and not die your testimony shall be great a 
I said your testimony will shake nations because you are delivering the potent active word of God conceived in your heart spoken through your mouth enormous potential tremendous capability I said change is coming to your life I said change is coming to your life elevation is coming to your life upward mobility is coming to your life acceleration The Spirit of the Lord is lifting up a standard this morning. I said the Spirit of the Lord is lifting up a standard this morning. For when the enemy comes in uh, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord is lifting up a standard. Some people looking at me this morning, you think this is a joke. Angels are released right now. Standards are being lifted right now. No weapon! Formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Come on, brother Claude, I feel a grace right here, right here. Somebody's deliverance is right here. Somebody's breakthrough is right here. Lift it up, lift it up. Hallelujah! 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 a stop order on 
his agenda release right now there is a stop order release on his from you he's a God that restores hello somebody he's a God that restores somebody need to hear I said he is a God that restores what the locusts took now here the palmer worms the canker worms listen I'm almost there thank you Holy Spirit he's doing it right now he's doing it right now Restoration is coming to somebody's life. Cry no more, said the Spirit of the living God. You shall certainly receive. Listen, there's so much to say, but the Holy Spirit is leading me in a different direction. But I have to say this to you. Dr. King put the scripture up for me. Sister Rosetta, Ecclesiastes 11.3 I'm just about closing Are you there? If the clouds be full of rain they empty themselves upon the earth and if the tree falleth toward the south or toward the north in the place where the tree falleth there shall it be we are enforcing a legal jurisdiction right here huh. follow me closely you water your clothes with the word of God when I was in primary school we learned about the water cycle the rain falls there's a process called evaporation that goes up then there's condensation now when that cloud is full Dr. Cloud there's nothing that can stop it from releasing if the clouds be full of rain my learned bishop they empty themselves upon the earth I want you to understand this morning international worship center and ministries we are on a quest that there is something past the hope leaving the earth which
which is the word of God impacting our spiritual climate that the atmosphere over our life must be so full the crowds over your life must be so full with the word of God with the prophetic declaration that your life is about to change amidst what you see fill the clouds with the word of God if the clouds be full of rain there is something that is leaving the earth and it's heading for the clouds you fill the clouds with your praise yes Dr. Claude that's the right chord just take it up a little I feel the presence of my help oh, thank you precious Holy Ghost The circumstance, Minister Nicholas, is defiant. But the word of God said, if the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves. You see, there's a law that is being effected right here. That when it, listen, there was literally a situation at my house. And me and that brother you see there, we began to pray. And the Holy Ghost began, the Holy Ghost took over. When you look at our bodies, we were wet. When we walked into the earth, it started to fall when we finished praying. We broke into the heavenlies. Now somebody need to understand that there is a principle that you need to activate this morning. And you can't activate it with a closed mouth. And you can't activate it by being professional and cordial ah, it is the violence that takes it by force somebody has to put a demand on the kingdom of God today Bishop that I know you are not slack concerning your promises According to the integrity of your word, this circumstance is illegal in my life. I'm talking to that devil of infirmity, sickness, and disease. Knowing that over 2,000 years ago, he took my sicknesses and carried my diseases. This illegal, unauthorized agent has breached your territory, your cells, your organs, and your tissues. Your bloodline must come in divine alignment today in the name of Jesus. Hello, somebody. Today in the name of Jesus Christ that infringement on your bloodstream that wicked agent of infirmity that has come to wipe you out the clouds must be filled with rain today and it must release your healing hallelujah 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 who am i talking to this morning the doctor released a diagnosis but this morning we are here to fill that cloud with the word of god all things are possible to them that believe i want to know if there are believers here are there believers here are there believers
Praise the Lord with a voice of triumph. Praise the Lord with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, somebody. Woo! For this is combat. Every spirit of discord. I'm talking to somebody's marriage right now. Every wind of confusion and discord that the enemy is sowing. There's a lifting in the boat. And we speak peace to the boisterous winds of confusion. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Every enemy, any wicked Lord today. Somebody turn on the bishop mic. We are getting ready. Mande kato prakata la vraka seketova. Shikroto shende lebria kata dakata. This is kingdom protocol for manifestation. Masaka tushka takra keke tu libria kata. Lembro bo seka. Koproko pakata ya kalakra kata. Libro ko everybody with your hands lifted in the sanctuary. With your hands lifted. With your hands lifted right now. Call unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Call unto the Lord right now. For the righteous cry and the Lord hears him and delivers him from all of his troubles. Father, I pray you do a new thing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Search through his body in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God invade his very spirit in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your voices. For her Lord Jesus, open the door, open the door. Where are you people? If the clouds be filled with rain, Hashata Tura Kasekete Mande Kasikata. A shift is taking place right now, Pastor Hope. A shift right now is taking place in the realm of the spirit. More grace, more of the anointing upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak increase, I speak increase, I speak increase. Master, look out, sister. God will be even talking to you in dreams. You shall see the might and the power of God. New grace for higher levels and higher dimensions. I lay hands on you in Jesus' name. I lay hands on you in Jesus' name. I speak settlement on your workplace. Every uprising, every uprising, we silence it. We silence it in Jesus' name. We silence it in Jesus' name. By power, by fire. By power, by fire. Power, fire. Lord. New grace, Lord. Fire, Holy Ghost. Fire, Lepa Bakapa. Radadaka de Koko Kalande. Oba Shaya. Restoration. Everything that you have lost. Everything, every evil that was done against you. I decree your latter day shall be greater than your former. I speak over your life. A, a fresh wind, a, a fresh anointing. Ha. Oh. Upon her life now, now in Jesus' name. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water, living water. 
katando konde kesikopa. I hear you said the spirit of the living God I hear your cry said the spirit of the living God I shall surely bring the vision to pass I shall surely bring the vision to pass in the name of Jesus you shall see the wonders of God you shall experience the glory of God I speak favor I speak open doors looser in the name of Jesus for God has not forgotten you God has remembered you he has seen your cry he has seen your tears and I am doing a new thing I am doing a new thing peace upon your life peace upon your borders I feel the presence of my helper I feel the presence of my helper I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost Hey, somebody lift your hands in this atmosphere. Lift your hands in this atmosphere. Say, Lord, come on, I can't hear your cry. Lord, open my file. Read my case. Solve my circumstance. In the name of Jesus. The kingdom of God is active right now, my bishop. And God is doing a new thing. Hallelujah. Come on, receive the bishop in Jesus' name. Let your praise be loud. Let your praise be great. Let your praise be mighty. Let your praise be mighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh. Glory to God, this has been an appointment given to us by God. You have it in your power, your authority to come, to be the decision to come or not to come. You came. You brought with you the anointing for this hour, for this time. Yes. There's an atmosphere that is impregnated by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me see if I can, can explain that. Joel, Joel put it like this. He said, I'm going to give you the latter rain and the former rain in one month. It means there's a double portion of an anointing because thus said the Lord. As the rain come down from heaven and water the ground that it bring food and bud and give bread to the eater so shall my words be that goes forth out of my mouth it cannot return to me void it shall accomplish that which I please and prosper where I sent it. Just hold those hands up and say, Rain on me, Holy Spirit. Rain on me, Holy Spirit. You're getting a double portion today. Say, Rain on me, Holy Spirit. Rain on me, Holy Spirit. Rain on me. Rain on me. That's right. Rain on me, Holy Spirit. You can feel it coming in here. Rain on me, Holy Spirit. Rain on me, Holy Spirit. You can feel the turmoil. Rain on me, Holy Spirit. Speak with the faith and the power of God. Rain on me, Holy Spirit. In a lot of days, that's what he's going to do. That's what is happening right now in this church. And this is just the beginning. Thank you, Jesus. This is just the beginning. We have seen this droppings coming over the past about three, four weeks. Now it's going to new levels of manifestation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Indeed, indeed. Power of operation. Thank you, Jesus. It is happening right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just believe, just release your faith and believe because the things that the things that the devil is bringing to your mind, God has aborted that long ago. 
He's bringing some things to your mind. God Hallelujah. aborted that long ago. Mighty it name shall Jesus. not come to pass. Mighty the name of devil Jesus. is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I can't add and I can't take away from that word. We thank God for Jesus. Pastor went. We thank God that he came. Thank you, Jesus. And we receive from the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anyone? Anyone? Minister James. Uh, position yourself to close here. Jesus. Is there anyone that you are not connected to Jesus Christ nor his kingdom? We are not connected. This is your this is your opportunity. This is this is not an accident. This is an opportunity that is given to you right now. All you gotta do is just walk up here and said I want to be connected to Jesus Christ and his kingdom I want to be connected to Jesus Christ and his kingdom is there anyone remember he tasted death for every person on this planet whether you are Chinese you are Caucasian you are black you are African whatever once you are a human being Jesus Christ tasted death. It means the sting of death is sin. The strength of sin is the law. But thank be to God, Jesus Christ has took that. You don't have to get the sting of death. You translate from one life to another. But you have to be connected with Jesus Christ. He is the head. His church is the body. And the body function by what the head is doing. You need to know what you are about. If you are not connected to Jesus Christ and his kingdom, you need to get connected today. Is there anybody? Just walk down here and we will do our part. And God will do his part. Is there anybody? Since there is nobody. Adam sin, we sin. Adam died, we died. But God reversed that when he sent Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ live, we live. Jesus Christ has power, we have power of life. No man can take it from us. No one can take it from us. When God gives you something, no man can take it. Who God bless, no one can curse. We don't care which other man they go to. That has nothing to do with you. Because you are in Christ. God is protecting you. comprehensive save from sickness save from death save from Satan save from demon save from anything 
save you. He, he protects you. He, he surrounds you not only with favors, with a shield, but angels are assigned to you. When you call on the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. Just give the Lord a praise, somebody. Give him a praise. Call the name of Jesus. 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 Just call that wonderful, precious Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Christ, your and Lord. Cause your rain to fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance. And cause your rain to fall on me. Baba.
Just lay your hands on me, right here. Because the atmosphere is so charged. The power of the Holy Spirit. In other words, the kingdom of God is in operation right now. And Jesus put it like this, if I by the Spirit of God, cast on devils. Then the kingdom of God is in operation. The kingdom is in operation right now. Devils and demons are subjected to every word that we speak here. To every soul held captive by depression. I speak to Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. And the anointing of God will begin to penetrate your body systems. In the name of Jesus Christ, all your body systems will never operate. Call it to the divine system of protocol. Skeletal system, anointing. It's anointing that Jesus Christ purchased with his blood. And he has left it, sent it on this planet. Is the anointing that shatter yokes, lift burden, and heal all our oppressions by the devil.
Darkness over every end. 